All right, guys, we are back. This is episode number 14 of the Forza 4 Adventures with Aviator. As you guys can see here, I do have this super sexy Mitsubishi in its completely stock form, and I know it's not the greatest thing ever, but you know what? I have to say I'm a fan of this car. I love Evos. I think they're they're just, personally, I think they're freaking great cars. So we're gonna try to actually change this thing up a bit. We're gonna upgrade this snot out of it really quickly here because I wanna drive this car more. It is all wheel drive. It is really well balanced. And I, I'm a little bit scared of adding more power because I know my nature is to, to drive poorly when I've done so. But I figure, you know, we'll start with, uh, we'll actually start with some suspension work and we'll go from there. So, uh, We'll just see kind of how the handling goes. We'll actually only upgrade the suspension, the suspension this time. We'll, we'll get rid of some weight. Let's see here, race weight, sport weight. Get rid of the, rate, the weight right here. That will uh, bump us up to the A class first off. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and uh, add a roll cage, which will give us some weight back, which is a bummer, but it's uh, it's a lot stiffer. So we'll do that anyway. Uh, add the weight back in, and then we'll add our roll bars, race rear roll bars, race front roll bars, and uh, we'll kick it off from there. So that should be a pretty good significant thing. Uh, we're also going to change our suspension springs, dampeners, and all that stuff. And we're going to come into this with a uh, new set of wheels and tires and brakes. So I'm going to do all suspension stuff first without amplifying the power, and we'll see how this kind of helps our, our feel. I'm also going to add some more, some extra downforce. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and kick in some some shenaniganized stuff. So uh, we'll go upgraded rear tire width. That's already added. Uh, that's already added as well. Upgraded front tire width. That'll help. Um, let's see here, tire compound. We're going to go full race compound because uh, I feel like that's the right choice. And uh, race tire compound. It is. Let's go over here to uh, rim style. Rim styles. Let's see. Um, it's the one I used to like. I don't want, I can't remember what all the tire styles are. I don't think it's centerline. No, definitely not centerline. I was right on that. <laughs> uh, I do like Inke, 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 Inke. I like these because I, I like a simpler wheel. I've always been kind of a fan of simple stuff. So let's take a look at these really quick. Um, those will look all right, I believe. We're to change the wheel size and that'll help a lot as well. So uh, front rim and rear rim size will go as big as it can. That'll help it look pretty clean. And uh, rear rim size, uh, yes. Upgraded rear rims. Hmm. That's what I meant to do. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Upgraded front rim size. I just bought the wrong size because I'm dumb. It's okay though. Now we're full size, and uh, that looks pretty sweet. I think. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty well balanced. It's simple. It's nothing crazy. Uh, and we're gonna just do one more quick change here. We're gonna add some downforce with the uh, the arrow and appearance side of things. We're gonna start with the front bumper. We are gonna add uh, basically full race stuff all the way around. Um, yeah, we'll go with it with the fully adjustables. See that increases our downforce a good bit, and we'll uh, we'll see how that works out. Because I, you know, I figure why not? Well, we might as well. And even though I know it looks ridiculous with a rear wing on it, you know what? We're we're going to make this look as good as it can for as long as we can, and we'll go from there. So uh, the street rear bumper that actually looks pretty slick. It's pretty slick, I think. So we'll use that, and then we'll put some side skirts on it and a new hood, because that just sounds logical. Yes. Um, let's see here. I'll use a charge. Might as well. And new hood because, you know, I can. Um, there's no real reason to, but I might as well. It looks kind of different, so <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> and here we go, guys. We're going to kick this thing off right now. Uh, first race in. I I'm excited to see how this looks. I think it'll look pretty good. And hopefully we'll get some good racing ability out of it. So we'll go ahead and uh, back out of here. That looks pretty sick. I'm, I'm that, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, <laughs> World Tour, here we go. It's back to the sun-baked desert of Arizona for an event at Sedona Raceway Park. Oh, geez. Sedona scares me. Not gonna lie. It really does. I'm just not very good at it, I guess. It's like, ah. Uh, maybe if I were better at it, it'd be one thing. We're gonna go with A-Class, even though I, I haven't increased the motor value at all. We'll see if it's, uh, if we can make things look run pretty well, at least, with the uh, all-wheel drive and whatnot. Hopefully we can, and that would be lovely. <laughs> Yeah, once again, guys, I am live streaming. This is what I like to do. I, uh, I live stream most of these events, as you guys know. If you guys haven't watched one live yet, I hope you'll join us soon. Uh, today is Saturday, and this video should be going up in about four days, five days from now. So I'll be due for another live stream session with Forza. Uh, I'm actually, I bought a whole bunch of new games. Like a whole bunch of new games. I bought a, a whole slew of new and improved and exciting games to play uh, over the Thanksgiving break. So I guess the, the Black Friday thing. <clears throat> and uh, I'm actually going to be doing some more Let's Plays here on this and testing them out to see if people want to watch them, uh, you know, some older games, some newer games, some things I haven't played yet. I have, uh, 
what's that game? Do sex or do sex or whatever you want to call it. Do sex. I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I also have some other stuff that I'm looking forward to as well. So uh, let's kick this thing off here with a start race. And here we go. <clears throat> I get the easy drop on these guys generally just because I have uh, I have an all-wheel drive and they're all pushing rear-wheel drive, but they do a lot more power than I do. I'm gonna try to hold a nice smooth line here. Taking the high side, we're gonna drop this thing back down. No, oh, why would you hit me? Why would you hit me? And I'm gonna get hit again. Try to take an inside line here in a moment if I can. I'm not sure, I'm a little bit scared to be honest. High line, high line. Ooh, get on my level. Wow, that downforce definitely made a big difference. We're only at 131 miles an hour, but I've had no issues whatsoever. We're just keeping this thing maintained, taking this nice, long, wide course. This is an oval course, NASCAR style. And uh, for whatever reason, I guess the car I have set up is working pretty well for me. It's, uh, it feels good, honestly. It feels pretty darn good here. So I'm gonna, uh, hopefully on this front straight, be able to fix things up. Ooh, I'm gonna keep the power in here. All right, oh my God! And, uh, <laughs> It's all right, it's all right, it's doing pretty well. Uh, I'm basically just flooring this thing, hoping that I can make it through these corners in time and uh, and, and not uh, not wipe out like I usually do, which does generally seem to happen around the third lap. But this is lap two of four, so this boringness will be over soon. This is lap three coming up right here, and I've got a huge lead on these guys. Not quite sure why or how, but apparently I'm, I'm driving really well for an NASCAR driver, I guess, because I'm from the US, it comes naturally, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> you know? Um, this isn't very exciting, so hopefully this race will be over soon and I can go ahead <laughs> and uh, get back with you guys. No, no! Oh, I hit the wall. That's going to greatly diminish my speed. But uh, we'll go ahead and keep this thing going, guys. And uh, in just a moment, the streamers are saying that the car is really loud, so I'll be turning down the, the volume of the stream, guys. Don't worry, that'll happen here in just a moment. Because I will be jumping into the next race as quick as we can and uh, seeing what we can do. Because I, I like to, I'd like to make more th great things happen. And uh, here we go. All right. Last lap. One more race. 40 seconds. Hopefully the stream can stay alive while I'm trying to get my audio down. I forgot I have it set up for Modern Warfare 3, which you have to have the audio louder for that than you do for this game because this game is super loud and my ears are bleeding and I hit the wall again. It's all right, though. I could almost lap these guys. If I had one more lap, I could probably lap these guys. Look at this. This is crazy. The nice thing is, just because it's not quite fast enough, it literally is, it's like almost driving itself. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. But they say to be smooth and, and fluid on this, on the controls, and I've done that as well as I can, so, you know, it worked out pretty well. There's the easy win, and I'll go ahead and fix the audio for my poor people here. But, uh, you know, this has definitely been different. You know, people have always said that, you know, the the whole concept of, uh, of what's it called, uh, shenanigans, uh, yes, those things, uh, <laughs> the whole concept of, Trying to to get a, a race like this put together, it's a lot, you know that's a lot harder on an oval track. People who are at, who are fans of, of uh, NASCAR are always trying to tell me how hard it is and this and that. And you know, I just decimated a NASCAR track uh, with uh, Mitsubishi, so I don't know, man. I don't know. That's uh, that's a little bit weird. Uh, <laughs> but we'll continue on here. And uh, looks like I get a lot of points and affinity levels there. That's gonna be great. So that's pretty swell. And uh, that makes me happy. That's 19,000 more. Plus, we get a new car uh, for the ultimate hot hatch, which will be sexy. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, this should be glorious. Somebody in the stream says, my car is overpowered. You are so mistaken, sir. It's all good, though. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and load this up. And the next episode will be starting. We'll go ahead and do one more race this episode and go from there. Let's choose a car. As you can see here, we've got a good number of choices here. We have this uh, Civic, the Musion. Musion? Musion? I don't know how you say that. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I like the Renault. I, I'm a big fan of the Renault, and this Focus is probably the best one here. I actually, you know, I've, I've hated on Focuses for a long time. I really did not like their older models, but the new Focus drives really well. And uh, I'm going to go with the Ford. It's the first Ford I pulled. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do the Ford. It'll be good. And, uh, hooray! Hmm. I have to go with the blue. All my cars are blue, man. I, I know it's boring, but we're going we're going focused in blue. So uh, we're gonna kick this thing off. We'll see if we're gonna use that car. I actually would really like to uh, to go ahead and use the uh, 
the Mitsubishi again. Today you'll revisit <clears throat> Switzerland and the twists and turns of the Bernie's Alps. Oh, Bernie's Alps. Yes, that's my favorite track. Oh, this is a crazy version of it. All right. Starts blast. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, this could be sketchy. This could be sketchy. We can go with uh, sedan body style with a B, which would be dropping us down a good bit. Or we can go, uh, oh, man, this would be interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what we want to do here. If I want to go S class and increase, I guess we can go S class and increase the uh, the value of the car. So we'll go ahead and upgrade the car a bit here. That's going to give us more power. And it'll be interesting to see how it looks and feels after this. Because we are going from 312 horsepower to 477. We're going to increase the, uh, the, tra the traction just a bit. Um, this will be interesting. I'm, I'm actually I'm looking forward to seeing how this comes together and uh, kicking it off with the S-Class World Tour right here, right now. <clears throat> it's loading. So, uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the last few episodes. It's been a different kind of uh, style for me this last few episodes. I've been trying to talk to you guys a bit more about other things than what are actually going on in the game, but I'm having fun with it. Like, it's, it's a little bit... Uh, you know, it's, it's a bit different, and uh, I'm going to keep changing it up, because I feel like, it, for me, a Let's Play concept is, is just me hanging out, talking to you guys, and uh, I don't have to be good at it. It just has to be me. So we're going to do it. This is uh, my definitely my favorite map. This is the or map, favorite track. This is the track that uh, Sandy Ravage and I played the majority of when we were up in New York. And uh, I, f I found this track to be really fun. There's a lot of great things you can do on this track that uh, the game tells you not to, but you can, it has, you know, when you have a car with traction, you can control pretty well. So here we go, jumping back on board now. And uh, three, two, go. Oh no, I got a bad start. The Audi's in the ball. Oh, they're outpacing. Ooh, ooh, but I can, I can get the inside line. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> Hitting the wall. I tried feathering the power so hard there, but this is much faster now. Ferrari's trying to take me on the outside, trying to take me on the inside. I'm doing all I can to keep him out. And we're gonna try to take this line right here, all the way on the inside, and come off the power, I'm back on the power, off the power, off the power, on the power, on the power, ah! This thing is so much faster. Oh no. It does not have the traction that it did before. It really does not. It just feels like it's floating a lot of the time. Uh, but I think that's just because it's got so much more power now. It doesn't have the downforce yet. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna have to come off the power here. This this corner right here just gets you in trouble so much of the time. As you can see right here, I want to hit the wall, and instead I'm gonna just come on the power here at 45 miles an hour, where my opponents are coming up with me at 100 miles an hour. I'm gonna come into this next corner, into the tunnel, and see if I can keep the power in it just enough here. Oh, we missed the tunnel. No, yeah, we missed the tunnel there. Wow, this is definitely a different style of track. They definitely have the track out differently. That tunnel is always gets to me coming off that left hand side. But uh, as you guys can see here, I am maintaining pretty well in first place. Uh, 122 miles an hour right now. Coming over the top of these hills right here. And this right here is the most interesting thing about the game. They tell you always, you know, come off the power, come off the power. But actually, you can float these turns really effectively. And this is where I was able to pick up Sandy Ravage the only couple of times I almost beat him in our final. Um, the ironic thing was I actually hit him when he was up on his side right here. Oh, uh, because of that right there. Oh, no. He was up on his side right there and uh, <laughs> and I hit him, put him back on his four wheels and he ended up beating me because of that, which is a huge bummer. But uh, here we go, going back down along this line. I did just totally ruin my lead, but that's okay. I've got time still. I still have some a good amount of time, I think, anyway. I, I wish I was running a little bit stickier tires. That'd be nice. I know these are race tires, but I still feel like I don't have the control I want. However, taking a corner at 110 miles an hour, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. So... Uh, Oh, got the nice line there. Be able to take him right on the outside, just stuff it to him. And we're gonna come off the power here, go across right here, and back over the top of this hill. This hill right here, you lose so much traction because you do have a lot of speed coming over the top of about 135 miles an hour. We're flying down this hill now, almost 160. There's 160, and I'm losing control already. Coming off the power, coming off the power, full brakes, full brakes, and back on the power right here. That was a nice corner right there. For me, that was pretty much the best I've ever taken that corner. So we're gonna come back in the power here, losing the apex, missed the apex really badly there, but I'm still expecting to go down the tunnel. So I'm expecting a little bit longer straight there and into the tunnel. As you guys can see here though, I am straightening it out. I'm trying to pull it over as hard as I can, 160 miles an hour, and here we go. <laughs> I'm running out of breath. That's okay though. Back over these hills is my favorite part of the map, or map, map track for sure, because uh, I can just floor it over them and uh, Generally do okay. I'm gonna to try to take this second, this, not this next corner, but the next one as safely as I can this time. 
uh, not going up and hitting a wall, not over controlling, and see what I can do about uh, all my failures. There's the wall hit, not over controlling this time, trying to smooth it out, get it to as well as I can, and pushing forward. Now this next corner right here is a doozy because the wall is really close, especially because it tells you to go all the way out to the outside edge, and I don't because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Take the apex here. I'm on the power a little bit too early, as you can see there. I'm gonna go into the wall if I don't. Yeah, I'm going into the wall. Period. Came in a little bit too early on the power. I should have let it coast through a little bit and then come back on the power smoothly. And instead, I was an idiot. But uh, as you guys can see, coming back on the power now and up to this crazy floaty corner at 131 miles an hour. And I might actually wreck here because I, I was looking at my speedometer instead of what I should have been looking at. And I was able to straighten it out. 123 now out of the corner should have been 140 right there. Uh, but it's okay. We're catching up on speed now. 155 and uh, into this next real tight left-hander on the power or on the brakes heavily at brakes, 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 and power back in. A little bit too much braking there. I could have taken it about 110. We're going to take this next corner and dip it that right in. Just dive that corner in, dive it into the corner and straight it out. Nice long left-hander here. One more lap to go after this. Oh no, that jump right there just threw me off. Uh, I'm going to try to let the car right itself. Oftentimes I find myself trying to over control uh, this this kind of a vehicle, you know, in a situation like that where it's trying to slap back back and forth over and over again. I find myself trying to fight it instead of letting it kind of ride itself out. And that is definitely a mistake on my part. I've got to start uh, kind of letting the car do the work because cars are designed to go straight. That's what they want to do. And uh, if I let it do the work, it will definitely treat me better than I'm treating it. And right back into the wall again, you think I learned by now, but apparently not. I do have a nice lead though. Uh, as you guys saw that last lap, I went 1 minute 31 seconds and 0.985. We'll see how this next lap was. That that lap was uh, actually a, a resounding success. Five seconds slower <laughs> than my uh, my fastest lap. And because I was reading the lap time, I'm just going to grind my entire side off on that wall. If I had damage on, I would probably just go ahead and uh, and be dead. So it's okay, though. Uh, into this corner here, come off the power just a little bit, then hold the power in as hard as I can. Full left on the stick at 130 miles an hour. Went off the power again in hopes of not tipping up too hard on this corner and not hitting the wall, but I did hit the wall. We'll see if I can pull it off the wall without over controlling. I was able to. We're out of that corner at 145. We'll be at 165 before we break again. There's 156, 161. Had a break, got a break, got a break, got a break, got a break. That's all right, I tried to get the 165. 161 was it for me. And here we go, back into the left. Nice smooth right-hander up here, then that nice long left. Oh. <laughs> I'm shoutcasting this. I'm actually getting ready right now for a uh, tournament that I'm shoutcasting one over three tonight. So I got to get kind of in the mood for uh, for play by play action. And uh, yes, that is what she said. But also, I have to actually do it. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it, though. I'm, I'm driving pretty decently, uh, as you guys can see, coming in through all these corners again. It's not lifting. I just lifted right there because I know I'm slowing down up here. And I got to lift again, break, break, and bring the power back in. Just kind of feathering the power, feathering the power and a little bit too, too little uh, left turn. I should have started the left turn a little bit faster there. But this is the final lap, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide this thing into the finish and right about there. There we go. <laughs> All right, that was nice. That was really nice. So guys, that was uh, episode number 14 of the Forza 4 Racing Rally Edition with Aviator, this time with no off-roading. It's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go back in and try to play some more with this Mitsubishi. Um, and uh, it's actually making me kind of want to buy one of these things. It's pretty sweet. So <laughs> just lots and lots of traction. It's fun to drive. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all very soon.